Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run independent sample t-test in SPSS. In my previous video, we have already discussed that how to run one sample t-test. Basically, when we are comparing a sample from the population, that is a sample mean is compared with the population mean, we run one sample t-test. So here our null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the population mean and the sample mean. This we have already discussed in the previous video. Today, we are going to discuss independent sample t-test. Basically, our objective here is to compare the means of two groups, group one and group two. So we are writing here our null hypothesis as there is no significant difference in means of two groups. For understanding the independent sample t-test, we are going to use the employee data set, which is available in the samples folder of SPSS. It will be available on your system also. Now here we are having a current salary. We want to compare the mean salary of male with the mean salary of the female. So first of all, we will write down the research hypothesis. The research hypothesis is male employees are paid more salary in comparison to female employees. This is a research hypothesis. We will convert this thing into the statistical hypothesis where null and alternative is written. So there is no significant difference in salary of male and female employees. This is our null, this one. Then there is significant difference. Alternative will be there is a significant difference in salary of male and female employees. The null can be written in another way also. There is no significant difference in salary according to the gender. This one, this one. Alternative can be written as there is significant difference in salary according to the gender. In some books, the null is also written as this one. Mu1 is equal to mu2. It means that mean salary of male and mean salary of female is equal. Here, alternative, they are not equal. Now, we will run the independent sample t-test. So, analyze. We will go and compare means. Independent sample t-test reset button now we want to compare the salary so we will include salary in the test variable always remember that the continuous variable is the test variable and the grouping variable is a categorical variable by categorical variable i mean male female urban rural smoking not smoking so that is a categorical variable i'll transfer gender here so there are two question marks which will appear. Basically, it requires a course, a gender. I'll go in variable view and let me try to see how male is being coded and female is being coded. Let us click here. So male is M and female is F. So I'll click here and M and F. Continue. Click OK. You have got the results. I have copied the results in my Word file. Here is it. The first thing which you have to see is this value. Basically, it's a test for equality of the variance. It's a Levin's test for equality of variance. Our null hypothesis, that is the first row, all variances are equal. It means that both the groups are having equal variances. The alternative is that the variances of two groups are not equal. So here, as the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we are rejecting null. It means that our interpretation will be coming from the second row, this one, right? In case, if this p-value was more than 0 0.05, it means that our variances are equal and our interpretation would have come from the first row. So you should see first row t-test value when this value is more than 0 0.05 and you should see t-test p-value when this value is less than 0 0.05. How we will write the interpretation? As the p-value of Levin's test for equality of variance, we will write down the f-value, which is 0 0.00, which is less than 5% level of significance. So we reject null hypothesis that all variances are equal. It is very clear our interpretation of t-test will be coming from the second row. As the p-value of t-test, I'll take this value, which is 11.688, is 0.00, which is less than 
5% level of significance. So we reject null hypothesis, which means that mean salary of male and female are not equal. The mean salary of male, ma the mean of male salary. From where I'll get this figure? I'll get this figure from here. This figure, male and female. It is $41,441 and female is $26,031. So, what I'll write is in the interpretation that the mean of male salary is $41,441 and mean of female salary is $26,031. So, we can conclude that the males are paid more salary in comparison to females. So, this is a way you can run independent sample t test in SPSS. So for more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of SPSS. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.